Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, Patricia. I'm uh, Kei Zhu Shijima from Arst and Young. So it is honor for me to be here. And also very happy to be here because I'm uh, encircled by beautiful women. <laughs> but, uh, to be honest, I'm a little bit uh, nervous uh, because uh, I feel uh, like uh, playing the game uh, away from my home. <laughs> Like a Takarazuka. <laughs> yeah, so today, um, <clears throat> so first of all, um, uh, you saw my theme, or uh, the theme of my speech in words on uh, smart city, but uh, uh, I'd like to talk about uh, sustainability and the business. Of course, I uh, will uh, sometimes touch upon a smart city examples. Um, before um, starting my speech, I'd like to uh, let me introduce myself, my background. So uh, my life was changed every six years. I don't know why. However, so when I was a, in high school and university, I dedicated playing um, playing uh, trumpet. Actually, I have played on trumpet in the uh, Sydney Opera House. Yeah, that's very great uh, memory. And after that, so when I joined uh, the first company, uh, which was a life insurance company, so I enjoyed a fun time because uh, I had a time and I earned money. So uh, when I joined the first company, so uh, just uh, the end of bubble, bubble economy, so then, so I wanted to study business. So after that, I studied business very hard. And then I moved to uh, a giant electronics, electronics company as a consultant. So I studied very hard for six years. Then uh, uh, my boss uh, became the vice president of that company and uh, uh, assigned me as a CSL leader. And I launched a CSL a division within the company. After that, I worked hard for six years. So six years uh, dedicating uh, trumpet, and six years enjoying fun time, and six years study hard, and six years uh, work hard. And then now, uh, the new, uh, six years starting for me uh, within Arst and Young. So um, <clears throat> why I changed the theme of uh, my speech today because I saw a lot of things um, through uh, the uh, previous company. So um <clears throat> actually uh, greed is good you might so watched uh, the movie of Wall Street. Actually, CEOs on the Wall Street earn 500 times more than the lowest employee's salary within their companies. On the other hand, what happens to the upstream of value chain? There are still a lot of children working under a terrible condition without getting education. And so uh, they don't have a freedom. In addition, the women are sometimes limited by educational choice and freedom. So for example, sorry, I forgot uh, bringing my cell phone, but uh, so you might have a smartphone. It, it is made from minerals mined by children under the terrible condition. That's true. So we have to know the fact, in many cases, the current uh, structure of capitalism deprives them of their basic human rights. It is built on exploitation, money-centric, short-term oriented, and using people as a human resources 
in spite of integral parts of value creation. So in the meantime, I think we can get some hints from traditional Japanese business management. So for example, please remember March 11. Actually, so the earthquake occurred. So um, I was on the 25th floor in the building, very close to here. Huge shaking. So at the time, a global value chain was cut by the earthquake. However, Japanese companies recovered rapidly. Why? They helped each other beyond the requirements from contracts. So, in addition, uh, over 80 Shinkansen ballet trains were running. However, every train safely stopped. Why? The train system was designed to detect a beta wave that comes before the earthquake. Japanese technologies were shaped through the experience of disaster. The Japanese business has a lot of experience and they include their experience into the technologies and the business. So Japanese business focuses on long-term value and the uh, human-centric technologies in order to realize them. So cultivating people and the optimization of efficiency. So how we can change? We should be a rule maker. There are uh, two types of uh, of people around the world, rule makers and rule followers. Most people are playing under the rule created by someone. The business is the same. The player who created rule dominates the market. The player who changed the rule, business rule, become the winner. If you want to change the world, we should be a rule maker. So, how we can become a rule maker? I show you my favorite logic rule, cause and effect. So effect must come after cause. So if we want to get effect, we should be a cause factor. If we can become a cause factor, we will be able to get effect. So we can impact on the world. I think the trend is shifting from competition to collaboration. The trend is shifting from positioning to sharing. So hope, I hope, courage, we have to courage to say first, to do first, and to show first. Saying, showing makes us cause factor. So business should, be, should not be a harmful for society, but should be a very creator. So I hope we can transform the current capitalism for the sustainable society. We should be a cause factor today. Thank you very much.